I wonder where this one's from. It's a mystery. Okay guys, welcome to the channel. Um, we're joined again by George today. Uh, he's kind of facing the other way because he's not that interested in looking at you guys. But I think he's quite interested to see what's in this box. It's small, I know, so don't get too excited. It's not going to be an AEG. I don't think. Um, guys, this isn't actually a mystery box, technically. Um, so I was reached out to through the channel because of your guys' amazing support. Uh, by one of probably the biggest retailers in the airsoft equipment space, apparel space. Um, a company called One Tigress. Uh, now, actually, I've had a few things from One Tigress in the past. A few things have been from uh, mystery boxes. And actually, I've just bought some One Tri Tigress stuff. Um, from my previous experience, and they're not sponsoring this video, they have sent me this stuff for free. But this is going to be my honest first opinion. Uh, have a look at stuff and kind of give you my thoughts of if I think it's worth it. Um, I have bought some stuff from them in the past. I am a little bit spoiled where a lot of the stuff that I now run on my primary gear is very expensive. Uh, so it's real stuff like from Cry, C-R-Y-E. A lot of their stuff is sold out, so it takes ages to get. Uh, but actually One Tigress seemed to make a very, very good product in general. Uh, really good multicam and actually the price point is very, very good considering it's a copy of some of these amazing things. Um, we're joined as well by Susie today. I don't know if you can see Susie. Um, she's a little dog. She's a little dog called Susie. Um, she's a friend of ours, so we're looking after her. George is not the biggest fan, I'm afraid. Uh, if food is ever kind of uh, appearing or coming around, uh, George and her have a fight. So she's leaving tomorrow. It's a little bit of an awkward one. You can tell he's pretty down. Sorry, mate. Uh, right, guys, so I'm going to open this up. I think there's three items in here. Um, they didn't tell me what they were going to send, but they actually did just send me an email um, when it arrived telling me what was in here. Um, so it's not really a mystery box. And I actually think the focus uh, of this box, it seems, is more kind of your uh, face protection. Um, so they do a lot of different kinds of pouches, patches, pouches, patches, pouches, uh, you know, kind of... Uh, protective equipment, actual um, BDU, so camo, uh, an actual kind of uh, uniform that you could wear. Um, so generally, uh, I think they do a lot more stuff than this. I think they have said that like supply is quite an issue at the moment, and I know a lot of stuff coming from China is. Um, so I actually think I've had one of these before. So this is the brand One Tigress. Um, you guys have probably seen this in a lot of places because they do a lot. And most of the retailers, I would say, in the US do uh, carry One Tigress. And it's kind of like their affordable quality version. Um, so guys, obviously this is multicam. Um, I use multicam pretty much all the time. Uh, it's more of your NATO style because I play in Southern California. Um, multicam is actually very good for the environment we play in. Used to play in the woodland in the UK. And actually, even though the UK forces do use a form of multicam, um, I don't think this necessarily is the colouring uh, that is good in that kind of uh, woodland, lots of dark green environment. Um, now, if you guys aren't aware or you can't see, this is, uh, it's a helmet cover. Um, so it's going to be a cover that you put on the helmet. Um, generally, I always use these. I find that actually if you're using a helmet, there's a bit of a shine on it. Um, so actually having this on here allows you to mount things, patches, pouches, uh, little things that you may need, uh, but also gives you that element kind of of more camo than you would have normally. Um, this is also here, this little gap is where the night vision goggle mount is, so you've got a space for it there. Um, lots of Velcro here. I'd say from the feel of it, uh, it feels good. Um, I'm trying to undo this Velcro here. It's been packaged well, where they've actually like folded all the Velcro um, so it's not catching on anything. Um, you've got your kind of little label here. Uh, begin with good gear. Share your stories, ideas, and dreams. So they've definitely done a really good job of marketing this. Uh, it's got a warranty. We stand proud with all our products. Consider customer satisfaction the number one mission. If a product fails you due to material or craftsmanship or a related defect, let us know and we'll replace or re refund. Love that. Because actually, I would say that there is quite a lot in the airsoft community of you bought it, you messed it up, you deal with it. Um, and actually, if there's someone who's standing behind their product, um, I think it's great. Um, they've obviously got their branding on stuff, like here's the One Tigress logo, but actually it's not offensively out there, it's not kind of in your face. 
Um, so I would say this is good, guys. I mean, this is going to fit your kind of standard helmet. Um, it's kind of got the cutaways on the side, so that gives you some flexibility with your rails. Um, but I've actually had one of these before. I've really liked it. Uh, one thing I would actually mention with the one that I've had in the past, I think I actually run this on my regular gear right now. I don't have a cry or any kind of uh, very expensive real equivalent. Um, but one thing actually that did happen at Milson West Kharkiv Collapse is we'd moved our base and just after we moved our base we came under attack from Rus4. So I had to dump all my stuff, run to cover and just kind of like take uh, cover. They were assaulting and pushed into our base and they threw a blue smoke grenade right next to all of my gear and it was so hot. If you've seen a smoke grenade, almost that kind of heat exchange kind of fire-ish flamey plume comes out the end that landed next to my bag and it melted my bag and it fired all of this blue smoke dust stuff everywhere um this actually got dyed by that as did everything um and i actually recently just washed this and it is looking completely great again so it washed out all of the smoke i presume those smoke grenades are designed or the smoke fabric is designed for that kind of thing um, but it does do that and so I've obviously tested washing it uh, but really good strong material I love this mesh uh, it gives you more breathability especially in hot climates um, so first impression guys I'd buy it you know I, I'll look up the price of this afterwards and just let you know if I think it's worth it um, but to be honest with you uh, based on just the feeling of it I would buy it um, second item so this is the rage foldable mask um, I've actually had one of these before in the past what I would say is if you're getting into airsoft, um, and especially if you're a kid, lower face protection at most sites is uh, required. Um, so if you're over 18, a lot of times it's obviously you need eye protection, but face protection is, you know, it's under your own kind of dis... We haven't got George's opinion on this. George, would you wear this on your face? Oh, I think he would. That nose of George's is very important. It's kind of like the cute factor, makes him look like a teddy bear, so it needs protecting. Um, but what I would say, guys, as I was going into is, um, I've always tended to wear this style of lower face protection. Um, I know a lot of people see the kind of full face mask, the dye kind of helmet masks. Um, one thing I don't like is that I do look down my sights when I aim. So if I've got an AEG in my shoulder and this is plastic, a lot of the time, if I'm trying to bring my head to look down the sights, that plastic stops my vision. Now, because this has got that kind of, uh, you know, movement in it, you can kind of push against it and it's not gonna affect you being able to aim your rifle. Um, I think they actually do a couple of different versions of this. So what I would say is this isn't my preferred version. Um, two reasons for that. For one, I play in Southern California, and as you can see, this has got mesh. Um, it's gonna be breathable material, and especially if you're not that keen on getting hit in the face, um, it's padded. So you've got good padding there, um, but it's gonna get hot. I am, a lot of the time I'm playing in 80 degree Fahrenheit weather up to 110. And so if you've got this on your face all day, it's playable, and I've played with it before, but it can get hot. So if you're in a colder environment, 100% go for this. I think they do a different version, which is just kind of more of your cloth, stretchy cloth, uh, and it actually kind of like comes up over your head and around. Uh, has still got this mesh thing in here, and I like using that. For me, that's my perfect, because it gives me enough breathability. I've got this mesh protecting my teeth. Uh, however, I can still kind of put other things on my head without getting too over over laden, over weighted, whatever it is. Other thing which is cool with these is they have ear protectors. So that is one of the most painful places to get shot. I don't know if you guys have experienced this before, but I haven't been shot in the ear for a while, but just getting clipped here, it's kind of like knuckles. It just hurts a lot. And so if you are running a hat, uh, a cap, uh, something like that, where the side of your head isn't protected, let me put it on so you guys can see. Uh, but what you can tell here is this is going to kind of come up over. You can wear a hat over the top, gives you protection, protects your ears, and you have this uh, kind of protection here. One thing I do is I run a headset. So I run a helmet and I run a headset with contact ear um, kind of things for my radio. Now, I think you could do that and run that over the top, but I have ear protection with my contact ears, so I'm not that bothered by this. This for me is great for friends. If I have friends going and playing for the day, they obviously don't have the helmet, they don't have all the equipment, they've got goggles, but this is gonna give them that protection where 
it's not going to be like they get hit and say, I'm never playing again. And it's not going to be too hot. And it's got multicam. So the ones that I usually wear aren't multicam. It's just desert tan kind of color. Um, but again, guys, really good material. I'll give you some close-ups, which you've probably seen in the video. But all the stitching is good. Nothing that's coming apart. If I'm pulling on it, it's all, it's all good. Um, one thing that I haven't tried with these, but I would mention on some of the lower face guards, obviously this gets covered in sweat and filled with sweat, so you wanna wash it. You don't wanna put that on your face a week later once it's kind of sat there for a week smelling awful. So I put these in a uh, washing machine. I would say that's a bad idea because sometimes some of the plastic or the whatever they've done with the stitching here and sticking it, uh, it can come a atta attached come detached, so um, it doesn't look as good, doesn't work as good. So I would say, if you're gonna wash these, I don't know, one tigress, if you're watching this, put a comment below, but if you're gonna wash these, I would say hand wash them, put them in uh, something to soak and then actually wash it, because I think the heat and the spinning of a uh, washing machine probably isn't gonna do good for that. This one, fine. This one, just with the metal, I think it's maybe not the greatest idea. Right, so that was the Rage Foldable Airsoft Mask. Um, again, fan of that. And then the last thing they've sent me, uh, it looks like a helmet. So, let's open this up. What I would say is actually they reached out to me, they said, hey, can we send you some stuff uh, for you to review? Which I said, yeah, absolutely. I'd love to give my impressions. I'm not gonna give uh, an impression which I don't believe uh, or I don't stand behind. So hopefully you guys think that's the case and I'm actually kind of giving you an honest opinion. Uh, but this is kind of cool. Comes in a bag. I've bought some cheaper helmets before. I know there's some of you out there that they, you love wearing the real helmets that are very heavy and they're obviously like Kevlar. For me, I don't like that. I run cameras on my helmets. Uh, it weighs too much. I play in a hot environment. It is more milsim, obviously, but for me, um, I'll wear a kind of copy helmet every day. Um, one thing I actually would also say is when I first got back into airsoft, especially playing in Southern California, I was playing with a load of guys that I play with regularly and they were saying, why don't you run a helmet? You can put a camera on it. I was just running a cap or actually one of the beanie kind of um, boonie hats. Um, and I was like, oh, helmet's too hot. I don't want to wear a helmet. What I actually realized is the helmet's cooler than wearing a hat um, because you have, and this is a bit of a weird way for me to introduce this, but because you have all of this air breathability in here, um, it actually kind of keeps off your head and then actually the airflow is a lot better. Um, now this is cool. Um, I would say it's almost like your kind of tan, it's quite a light tan. And obviously once you've kind of got this, you're gonna be running this guy on top. So that gap there is where this is gonna kind of fit over. And I'll give you an idea, but basically that's gonna come right over the top. It's gonna go over your rail system. And so you're gonna have basically a helmet which is gonna protect you from BBs. Uh, it's not heavy, so it's kind of like your polymer plastic. You can probably tell here, that's that kind of finish. Um, this one actually is, um, these remind me slightly of that World War II German helmet with like the flared ear wells. I don't know if it's similar for you, um, but I probably wouldn't technically run this. However, this is fantastic. You know, if you're looking to put a helmet on or buy a helmet, this thing, I need to adjust it and open the straps up a bit. But this thing is great. Um, again, I would say with your contacts, they probably fold over this bit here and go in. But again, it's a fantastic product. Absolutely love it. Um, I would say also here, this is probably not as good for hot environments because it's padded, but, uh, and it's kind of like quite a hot padding, but you can get different pads. And actually they have the Velcro in here where you can reattach stuff. This is also washable. So you can stick that in the wash, which I really like. Uh, but guys, generally, they've given me a little one tigress patch here. Generally, I think this is fantastic. Um, uh, obviously they've sent this for free. Okay guys, so sorry, I just had a delivery. I had to run out and then come back. George, settling down, good. Um, you wanna come this way so that people can see your fluff. Good boy. Um, okay, so guys, so I'm, I'm quite happy. Obviously this is free to me. I'm gonna check the prices right now just to kind of give you guys an idea. They've sent me the, um, so this is quite funny. I just clicked on the Amazon link that they sent me. Uh, price for this guy is $21.99. I would say that's worth it. Um, it's an investment. You're gonna need it in Airsoft. So it says actually here, which is hilarious, 
that I have purchased variations of this three times. So I think I bought one of these, because uh, originally I was like, that's fantastic, I wasn't wearing a helmet. Um, and actually if I was doing sniping, if I was doing anything where I didn't want that profile showing, um, I would definitely just rock this probably with a hat. Um, but, uh, and also obviously this is protection that you can hear. Uh, $21.99 I think is an absolute bargain for that. I would definitely buy it. Uh, if you've had bad experiences one, with one Tigris though, actually put it below. Um, and actually I'm sure they'll watch it and respond, but actually um, I've never had a bad experience. So if you've had one, let us know. So this is $21.99, which I've said I think is a good value. Obviously I've bought a few of them, which I wasn't aware that I bought that many. Um, helmet cover. This guy is $16.99. Again, fantastic. Doesn't say I've bought variations of this one, uh, but actually on Amazon it's got four and a half out of five stars. So, uh, and that is with uh, a thousand ratings. So I can't imagine people are having a bad experience with this. Um, again, just done well. Um, I would say as well, the matching of the multicam is pretty good. Um, some of this stuff, I would say, I don't know about One Tigris, but some of the, not cheaper knockoffs, but the kind of copies, if you wash them a few times, the actual multicam starts to fade um, and it doesn't look good after a couple of months. So that's another thing maybe to watch out for with kind of if you're buying equipment. Uh, and then finally, I'm presuming this is gonna be the most expensive because that is, it's gonna be the one which to me feels like it should be the most expensive. And the tactical helmet is, um, they've also been great to deal with guys as well. Um, like Diana, who's actually the woman who re reached out to me, I presume woman, sorry. Um, she uh, has literally just been kind of updating me, sent me the tracking number. So they've actually just been really responsive. Okay guys, I'm really sorry. Somehow the SD card got filled up. I deleted everything off it, but I hadn't obviously cleared it properly. Back to the One Tigress stuff. George is here, put him back on the desk. If you can see him, say hi. Say hi to everyone. Ignore everyone. Fine. Uh, so guys, we talked about uh, helmet cover, we talked about the uh, face, lower face protection, uh, and then finally, here was the helmet. So I was looking up the pricing of this just now. Um, again, great build quality. If we look at it on Amazon, which is where they've sent it, sent me the link to, um, this is, as we described, the uh, One Tigris MIC, M-I-C-H, 2000 style. So I presume that means it's from the year 2000. Um, ACH tactical helmet with NVG mount and side rails. Um, what I just noticed actually is the side rails go right the way down here, um, which I don't know functionally what I would use that for, but good to have, to be honest. So I would just be, that's a positive. Um, price, can you guess it? Can you put it up on the screen right now? Can you put it in the comments below? What do we think? I normally spend probably about 150 on a helmet is kind of the range of where I would spend. This one is only $50.18. So to be honest, I would say if you are looking for something that's functional, it's gonna work, it's gonna do the job, uh, but you're not wanting to spend a ton of money, this is gonna do everything you need. Um, in terms of colors that they sell, okay, so it's got 876 ratings, uh, 66 answered questions, and it is four and a half stars. So it's well reviewed from other people. Uh, and then it comes in three different colors, all about the same price. Uh, this one's actually $49.58. The black one is $50.18, and then there is a green, range of green kind of color, $49.58. Um, so guys, just to give you a roundup, um, I would say if you are thinking about buying the One Tigris product, and this isn't just because they've sent me these three free things, um, I would say it's a good product. Um, they build some really good stuff it's really good for the airsoft community because it's realistic and copying realistic stuff, but it's not going to break the bank. Um, and so um, I'm going to give it my approval. I'm going to say, hey, if you want to buy something out there um, and you don't want to spend a huge amount of money, but you want to get something that's going to look real, go for one Tigris. Uh, if you guys have a different opinion, though, I want to hear it. And actually, if we want to start the discussion below and you've had some bad experiences, I also want to hear that. Uh, and also I think one Tigress probably want to hear it and they'll report, respond to you hopefully. Um, so guys, I'm gonna round that up. George, George approves. He's giving him a like, right, little quiet kind of side face. Um, but yeah, $50 for the price point. I think it's absolutely amazing. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Uh, if there's any more information you want on these, put the questions below. Got more unboxings coming soon and more gameplay. Let me know what else you want to see. Thanks guys, speak to you soon, bye bye.